What's up, heathens? How ya doing? Flat earthers are gonna try to prove their particular model of the flat earth. One is using crepuscular rays. Those are like the sunlight rays that you see shining down from the clouds and shit. I'm gonna show you a picture real quick on another phone. And uh, <clears throat> hopefully I've got it positioned right where you can see. Let me clear my throat. <clears throat> These are called crepuscular rays. What's up, YouTube? What up, YouTube? This is Douchey McDouchebag here with with my lip piercing and my fucking fedora. I don't know. That might be a trilby. I really don't know these whole hipster hat things. Um, most flat earthers already know this information I'm about to share, but this is for anyone who's on the fence or, or actually thinks they live on a spinning ball of water. Okay, so let's stop you right there. Don't believe that we spent we live on a spinning ball of water. This isn't fucking water world. And I learned from the last time that I brought up fucking water world it's not a shitty movie <laughs> that's the one thing i fucking learned that magnificent fucking movie uh water world is not what we live on we live on an oblate spheroid where the surface is mostly water but most of it's uh, just you know solid rock metal and other minerals hurling through space i'm gonna show you a picture real quick on another phone and uh what the fuck is this i feel like this is like a an in real life <laughs> like somebody being like well i don't know how to screen capture but here you go i mean except this guy's like oh i don't know how to edit videos so instead of just putting it up later and post or something i'm just gonna use my other phone and tape it with my current phone and that's how i'm gonna show you the picture <clears throat> hopefully i've got it positioned right where you can see let me clear my throat <clears throat> these are called crepuscular rays now if you would see like from an artist's perspective you can trace those rays back to a source and that's how you could get an idea of positioning you know from either side you can trace those rays i, I don't know if he's gay honey but that that's a little there's nothing wrong with being gay <laughs> crepuscular rays are a thing but but they only appear to be like slanted or at an angle. Uh, they actually aren't at that. It's because of your current perspective. If you were to move, uh, you know, closer or rather farther away, uh, they would appear to be more parallel. Um, but it's only because of your current perspective that it seems like it's pointing at a place closer. What, what you could do instead of relying solely on crepuscular rays in order to say that the earth, that the sun is close to the earth what you could do is measure the angular size of it in one place and then a known distance away measure the size uh the angular size of the sun in another place and then knowing those two things with the distance uh and knowing the angles and the angular size you can figure out exactly how far away the sun is you you have to understand why i don't buy your bullshit crepuscular rays theory here or idea rather because it's not even a hypothesis we're told in science that the sun is 400 million miles away. Therefore, the Earth would be extremely tiny in relation to that. And the sun would be extremely massive, right? So when it's that far away... Um, did this motherfucker just say 400 million miles away? The sun is 92 million miles away. Like, like I, I guess it's closer... Oh, shit. It's closer to like 93 million miles away. So, I mean, that's just a small thing. I think that he's thinking of like four, like the sun is 400 times as big as the moon or, or rather the moon or the moon is 400 times smaller than the sun. I think that's what he's thinking about. And he's mistaking it for distance. Well, the moon is 400 times smaller than the sun. That's why we get the perfect uh, corona uh, during an eclipse. I know that much. Reliably know that much. I mean, it's hard for us to even get our head wrapped around a figure like that. 400 million miles away. Is it really that difficult for people to understand 400 million miles? Like, I get that it's huge and that we're used to like measurements on like an earth scale rather than a solar system scale. But once you actually change yourself a little bit to being, you know, in the solar system, I think that it's quite easy to imagine 400 million miles. But if you think about a light source being that far away and us being here, all the rays would come in parallel there would be no way you would have angled sun rays. Like I said, you can trace the angle on this side and you can trace the angle on this side and they converge to a center point up here. And 
Yes, because of your current perspective. I mean, this is very simple shit here. Uh, okay, it's because of your current perspective. If you get closer, yeah, uh, you know, uh, it, you, the the rays, of course, would would go away because I mean, you don't when you look straight up in the sky, you don't see the rays coming down at you. But if you get farther away, they get uh, parallel. I mean, it. If you think about this, think of train tracks going off into the distance. We know that the train tracks are parallel. If they're not parallel, then the train is going to have a problem. But they will eventually converge on a single point as they get farther away. I mean, this is simple shit. You could you could easily just go to the train tracks and see this kind of shit. But nope, crepuscular fucking rays. If as I watch the sun go by, you know, now other people think the earth is spinning, therefore the sun is moving at a distance. No, you know, what I'm trying to get you to see is the only possible way that you could have a ray of that sort, a crepus crepuscular ray, it's a difficult thing to say, is from a local sun. Now, if the sun is local, then obviously we're not revolving around it, but it's revolving around us. Therefore, it's like a micro light. I mean, I, I've got, I've, I've gotten this wrong before too. It's orbit. The, the, the sun orbits around us, not, not revolves. Revolving is what the earth does just on its own. It orbits. In, in his explanation of his theory, he says that the sun would revolve around the earth. No, it's the sun would orbit around the earth. That's of course wrong. It's obviously wrong, but I mean, it's wrong in what he said. And I mean, I've made that mistake before. So, I mean, I can give him a pass on it. It's small, it's local. Then people say, well, how can it be dark over here and light over here if it's a flat plane and it's rotating above us? I'd ask you to think of a flashlight and you have it over a cardboard box. Look at my hand. Let's say the cardboard box is right here. Now don't you want to pull up a picture on your other phone and show us instead of physically showing us on the ground? <laughs> okay, so the, the sun is not a fucking flashlight. Like, that's not how the sun operates. A better example of how the sun would operate would be like a naked light bulb that doesn't have a shade on it or anything, and it just, it, it's um, uh, shining in all directions. That would be closer to what a, a sun is, but don't use a fucking flashlight because that's not how the sun works. I've got the flashlight. As I lower the flashlight down, the beam of light's going to get smaller and more directed, correct? And then if I lift the flashlight up, the beam will get wider as I go, see? So if we have a close and local sun, say this is the sun, and it's close to here and it's just shining down directly here you have a path of light right here so if the earth is shaped like a disc which is circular then the sun's going around like this only lighting up a portion at a time now if the sun were further back it would light up more but that's how we can have a day and night if you see what i mean uh, i do see what you mean but you're horribly wrong uh, not only about how the sun's light actually shines, but also because of the fact that if you had a sun that is like that in our atmosphere and close to the earth, for one thing, it'd burn up our atmosphere. We would be fucked. Not only that, but if the sun was really close to the earth, uh, with the amount of heat that we get from the sun, it would it would be like an asshole kid with a magnifying glass, you know, and burning the ant hill. Like that's what it would be like. But you're not exactly thinking at this point, are you? <clears throat> but to me, it doesn't take a rocket scientist, right, to hear information like that and say, "Well, now I have to think twice." Whenever I look up and I'm at the lake. And I see a cloud and I see rays shooting off in this direction and rays shooting off in this direction. And I go back to a point and there it is. And then later in the afternoon, it's doing the same thing, but it's over here. And if you look at the crepuscular rays that are farther off in the distance, you will notice how they get even more parallel because they're even farther off in the distance. Hmm. How can I trace it back like that? Because anything else in your reality... You know, that's why an artist gets his perspective that way, and that's why they're usually correct, is because it's the proper judgment. You know, use your eyes and uh, use our mind, and then we get the proper judgment for it. So what I'm asking you to do, you know, step outside and think about the rays next time you see them. And once you consider a fact like that, in my opinion, it's difficult not to face it. What you do with the information from that point on is up to you. But you certainly can't look at someone who's telling the truth and say they're crazy, right? <laughs> I like the smile he has on his face right now. I'm going to capture that. Okay, so nothing you said is the truth. The sun does not orbit around the earth. The sun does move through the universe, 
but not like it moves through the sky. The earth is spinning. It's not completely a ball of water. The surface is mostly water, but that's about it. And um, none, none of this has been truth or productive or educational in any kind of way. Crepuscular rays look that way because of your perspective. That's a pretty good summary of how stupid as fuck this video is. Come to the dark side.